A physics professor surprises his students, immersing them in the visual and sound effects of a volcanic eruption. Why are we starting from this? It's one of the strategies elaborated by Gagné, we can use as inspiration. Gagné is an American educational psychologist born in 1916 and made famous in 1965 by his book The Conditions of Learning. In this book, he identified, consistently with what was the behaviorist associative perspective from which he started, a series of necessary conditions for different types of learning to take place. Gagné's starting idea, similarly to educationalists who subscribe the associative perspective, is the idea that learning takes place when a situation of stimulus hits the subject, so as to create a change in his performance, from before the situation happens to after. This change of performance makes us understand that learning has happened. Gagné puts at our disposal, within the scope of his theoretical elaboration, an educational model that can easily be integrated in the teaching practice. We previously saw how, in general, behaviorist associative theories created in time a number of critical considerations regarding their excessively mechanistic, fragmentary dimension in which learning is seen as a totally individual process caused by a stimulus-response relationship with what is presented by the teacher. For sure, the subsequent elaborations have brought richer and more interesting stimuli, but we can still gain interesting sources of inspiration from Gagné's contribution. Let's explore this together, Gagné's educational events. Gagné tells us that to create an effective teaching and learning context, we need to organize it with a sequence of activities known precisely as events of instruction, characterized by a specific function. The first event is what we saw earlier, the volcano moment, the moment of involvement, when the teacher needs to focus on creating a context that will arouse curiosity and the student's interest, perhaps even choosing some stimuli from daily news or from everyday life or from situations that can be particularly interesting or close to the student's life. It is then necessary to create an expectation related to the benefit of the focus of the content of the lesson. After that, an important moment is the activation of the previous knowledge. Therefore, after having involved the students and stimulated expectations, Gagné tells us that it is important to create a moment when we help students in recalling the previous knowledge related to the topics of the lesson. And here we can see the contamination with other perspectives, where the construction of a network between the previous knowledge and the new knowledge is very important. But how does the teaching and learning experience continue according to Gagné? It proceeds with a recommendation and a selection of content that can be useful to the achievement of the learning outcomes, a guidance to comprehension that is offered by the teacher to students and then the moment of the practical application on what was acquired in terms of learning. After this, according to Gagné, the feedback moment is very important. Here you can clearly recognize the associative behaviorist perspective in which the practical application is given a crucial role that allows us to observe the modification of behavior consequently to the process of modification of cognitive structures.
About this, what is specific to Gagné is the emphasis he puts on the importance of a feedback as a separate moment from assessment. Feedback is the moment when the teacher makes an effort to clarify to students the quality of their performance, how close it came to the intended learning outcomes. Remember about this, the behaviorist concept of positive or at times negative reinforcement in the case of inappropriate behavior. This is followed by an assessment that formalizes the feedback that was provided, further underlining the positive or negative reinforcement value. And finally, a moment of consolidation, where the acquired and experienced knowledge is applied to a wider or perhaps less diversified context compared to the starting point. So, to sum up, we have explored the first pedagogical framework inspired by an associative and behaviorist perspectives, the Gagné's one. In particular, we have looked into his events of instruction that suggest a pedagogical framework to manage class activities that starts from involvement. We have seen the class context with the eruption of the volcano that captures the attention of students the creation of an expectation towards learning, then the recall of the previous knowledge, and also the transferring, the presentation of the content, its application, and then feedback, assessment, and the hand with the generalization and consolidation.